You can just feel the support building year after year. Uh, people are excited and confident about the kind of success we're all having together. It's been a remarkable 10 years. It's just amazing how much this has grown from 80 people the first year to over 200 now. The concept of this program is amazingly simple, and it's just based on the observation and belief that there's an enormous amount of talent, and that that talent has two features. First, that it's not getting enough opportunity to express itself, and second, it's a huge advantage for us if we can tap into this talent. When you get started, you believe that you have a value proposition, you believe you have something unique, but there's also the fear that you won't have the opportunity to show that. The genuine interest is huge in wanting to know us and figure out if it's a good fit to uh, partner with. This is all about relationships, being able to turn to the right person at the right time with the right question and get that creative thinking back. We meet the people at the symposium like this, we maintain the relationship. Sooner or later, we'll call on that person to help us consider the future. It helps us, we help them. We grow talent, opportunities become available, economies shift. There's all kinds of things that happen when these relationships come together. It's not necessarily always about getting that deal, right? Um, the relationship building piece is what we really like to focus on. And once we do that, usually things fall into place. Being in front of folks that we thought would like to hear what we were talking about is definitely beneficial. So this year we have an award. It is our John Rogers Jr. Business Diversity Impact Award. And this award is going to Mark Schmidt. We have 22 minority and women owned firms investing in our endowment because of Mark and his team. And um, if you know about endowments across the country, that's pretty extraordinary. I fortunately learned at a pretty young age in my career uh, the importance of working with minority and women-owned firms. One insightful comment that, uh, that John made, he said, well, what if Jackie Robinson never played Major League Baseball? And that stuck with me as you have to give everybody a chance to, to excel and make the whole better. This has been great for the university, bring an enormous amount to us. I want to thank you for participating in this. Uh, and I look forward to lots of good results this year and to many more years of success.